Hi, good people. How are you doing? Hope that you're doing great. My voice is back, but not so good, but I'll be able to show this video. Now, I want to teach you on how you're supposed to come up with your very original business idea. This is one of the questions that I get the most from the students that I teach how to do inputs. I told you that I've taught almost 7,000 people as we speak, and one of the often questions that pops up is, can you give me an idea of whatever I'm going to do? And then I tell them, I'm not supposed to do I'm, I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to give you a business idea. Reason being, in any business that you're going to engage yourself in, must be your very original idea. And if you ever try to copy someone, probably you saw someone is doing well in that business and decided to get yourself in it. You will be frustrated and you're going to lose your money. If you decide to go asking friends about a business idea that you can do, oh, I sold my car, I have this amount of money at the bank, I have saved this amount of the amount at the bank, I want to start a business, give me an idea of whatever I can import from China. I already know how to import. Ray taught me how to import. I'm sure some of you always tell your friends so. And then any person will ever give you a business idea, including myself, me, your mentor, and go ahead and implement it. Chances of that business flopping is at 99.9%. So for 0.1% is the success rate. Get that and get it seriously, because I want all of you to know that you're not going to copy anyone and you're not going to get a business idea from someone else by passing it to you by the word of mouth telling you, ah, oh, why don't you sell clothes? And probably the person who's telling you to sell clothes, they are really struggling in the clothes that they are selling, or they are telling you of something that they have zero experience on. They don't know the mistakes, they don't know how to go about it, they, don't, they know nothing about it. So once you take that idea and implement it, it fails, and you'll forever hate your friends. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. what you love doing in business that you aspire to do it over and over the years you must engage yourself in something that you're going to have fun doing it because chances are you'll be and you'll enjoy the whole process of doing the business assuming that uh, you are the kind of a lady that loves things to do with makeup get yourself into makeup probably you love hairs you love jewels you love shoes maybe you're a guy you're so passionate about electronics you're so passionate about medical equipment anything anything that you'd love doing that comes from deep inside your heart that is what you're supposed to educate yourself in other than something that you've been forced to let me give an example imagine someone telling you to do makeup products to start selling for us all these makeup products yet you don't even have a makeup kit you don't even apply foundation. You don't even know where it is, how, how it looks like. You don't even, maybe someone is telling you to do the wells, yet you don't even have a place to put your earrings. It's something that you might experience some difficulties doing. So get yourself into something. Just sit down by yourself alone and think, what would I love and enjoy doing? Then that specific thing is what you're going to concentrate on. The next step, look at your surrounding this is the point number two look at your surrounding what has the mother nature given you that you can take advantage of and come up with a business idea out of the place that you're in let me give an example people in the corporate world probably you are in the hotel industry look at whatever is missing in that hotel probably they're even trying to come up with better uh, they're trying they're trying to get new towels for the facility Probably they're going to get new beddings for the facility. Probably they need doors, they need the small fridge, anything. Look at whatever the environment gives you. If you're in a hospital setup, look what is missing in the hospital and probably whatever the hospital is struggling to do. Then you can import them and send that specific item to them. These are things that you enjoy, the business ideas that you enjoy out of what the mother nature gives you out of the situation in life that you are in just have a look at it see whatever you can take advantage of and run with it 
and bad three the other thing that you can do to get a business idea is to use social media if you're trying to get yourself into business in the year 2023 you better love social media if you're the type of people that say me i don't like social media don't do business because even when it comes to sales these days we are relying so much on social media to be able to sell the little that we are trying to do and it is going to expose your products to a very huge market of so many clients so you better love social media even getting a business idea take a day every day even if it is 30 minutes to scroll down alibaba you have to have an alibaba account just scroll and see whatever it is trending on alibaba and amazon they are going to give you a very tiny small things that you can be able to import and sell among all the things that you see on alibaba you must get an idea of whatever you're going to engage yourself in it exposes your mind in a way that you cannot even imagine alibaba china have so many things from tiny accessories from i don't know cameras from phone holders so many tiny beautiful things that if we import them chances of them performing very well either on amazon jumia or uh, instagram or facebook will be very high get a business idea from social media always see whatever it is trending and whatever you can be able to import and get yourself a good kill out of it now we have talked of look at something that you love the most the other one is check whatever mother nature has given you as a gift out of the place that you are in or out of where life has positioned you the other thing even if and when i talk of mother nature it doesn't mother nature doesn't favor any person even if you are in the cleaning industry probably you are a cleaner of a mall you can think of something that you can start importing and selling to them to these people that have employed you something to do with cleaning or selling to other people that is going to get you some money don't look at your situation and think that i mother nature has not given me anything to offer and if it hasn't you can come up with what you love most and the other one you can spend your quality time on social media mainly alibaba and instagram alibaba and amazon and see items that you can fall in love with them and feel as if you'd get yourself into that specific business now point number four now that you've gotten a business idea ask yourself why am i doing this specific thing that is the question that most people don't most people don't ask themselves that question why am i doing it is it that there is a shortage of this thing is it that um this thing has not been introduced to our market is it what problem are you trying to solve with this specific business that you're doing any business that you'll ever do and there is no problem that you're trying to solve with that specific business it's equals to zero it is equals to zero you're going to struggle to keep up with that business let me give you a good example people that love selling clothes any most most business people when they think of a business the first thing they think to get themselves into it is clothes ask yourself where am i importing these clothes is it that we have a shortage of dresses and trousers and suits or why am i doing it you must have a reason if you don't have a reason don't do it you're just trying to copy other people don't do it there must be a specific problem that you're solving with you with your very own specific business idea let me give another good example assuming you're trying to sell us um phone holders the, are they called the handles are they handles phone holders the one that we're using these days to shoot content have you thought well about it these days we are living in times where everyone is creating content if you're not creating content you better start creating content everyone is creating content almost everyone would want a uh, that thing that you use to shoot the one that you can put on the table the one that you can hold like this as you shoot so that means there's that shortage of that specific commodity it's not so much even when you check on your instagram pages it is not flooded so many people have not gotten the idea of importing it so that means if i import these accessories i don't know for shooting content chances are they're going to perform because we are living in times where 
people want to make content, but there's no a lot of accessories to help them create good content. You get, you must reason out, you must have your facts, and there must, there must be facts. You have to put your facts down and get a clear reason why you're doing it. Why do I want to get into medical equipment? Is there that there's a shortage of companies that are doing medical equipment? How, do you know of any established companies locally that are doing medical equipment? How are they doing it? Is it that if you ship your things and start selling to us, you're going to be able to be sell it at a cheaper price compared to the already established companies that are doing medical equipment? What strategy are you putting in place in that specific business? What problem are you trying to solve? If you're not trying to solve a problem, forget about that business. And you will note that a, a, a business where you're trying to solve a problem of a specific thing, to meet a market of a specific thing, thing that has been missing, that business will kick from the word go. It is going to feed you, it's going to serve you. Those are the businesses that we say you started in a span of three years. You'll, act, you'll have achieved so much compared to a person who started selling clothes in the year 2010 until now. That is where you find there are people that engage in a specific business and within a span of one year, two years, they are doing so well because they sat down, they saw an opportunity, they saw something missing and they decided this is what I'm going to tackle. And that opportunity comes even in the smallest things that people ignore the most. Always know that. The smallest thing that people ignore the most, if you have the power to get yourself into production, you are placed at a better place. A business person who has the muscle to get themselves into production, you are much better than us, the importers. Look at, a, look at something that you can start producing. Look at the machines, how they are sold in China, Alibaba. Import that machine, then start producing that specific thing. Let me give an example with one of my students last year who thought of how they can import a machine to do a, a specific thing that is used in a hospital setup. And then uh, they imported the whole system of production. Right now, the, her and the husband and another company are the only two companies producing that specific thing. Even if I tried to import that thing from China, I cannot compete the price that she's selling that commodity locally. And she's doing so well. That goes to the people with the muscle to get themselves into production other than importing. But you're still a business person, right? The other point is seek information. Take time. Now that you have gotten something that you can be able to do, you have a reason why you're doing doing it. Get the right information of how you're going to implement it. Even if you have to buy that information. Most people don't want to, to buy information. How? Me, Ray. Buy, pay someone $500, pay someone $1,000, pay someone $200 to give me a specific information. I am not doing it. That is what most people say. Let me tell you something. The information that you're going to get on how to run that thing that you've already settled for, even if you bought it, the information itself, might save you thousands and thousands of your money. There are things that you're going to be told or you're going to know or mistakes that you might end up making prior. You're going to get to know them before you do them. You, you, you'll have so much information implementing and doing the business. You're not just going to do it for the sake of doing it. If it is importing, you're not going to import it for the sake of importing. You know how to go about it. You know the document required. You know how to check the legitimacy of the company. You know how to make your payments. You know how to deal with the companies. You know, you, you will have so much information that you, are, you have a zero chance to make any mistakes. You have zero chance, if not zero, zero chance. To make any mistake be a person that buys information i cannot count the amount of my of times that i visit udemy if you haven't download, downloaded udemy you better go and download it just to see the information that i need to buy 
even if I'm going to buy it at a hundred dollars, I cannot count how many times I've bought information. I just see something that I believe that it is going to help me in the thing that I'm doing. Probably it's being sold at cost. Probably it's being sold at $300. I've saved enough and buy that specific thing. And when I buy and get the information, it benefits me times 10. It's not even worth the money that I bought that, that specific information. And so be fond of buying information even if you it doesn't matter and just disregard free things free things free things might cost you later right <laughs> last but not the least the most important the most important you've gotten an idea by checking whatever we love most and would want to engage ourselves in scrolling down social media right looking around your environment and see what mother nature has given you as an opportunity you have a reason why you're doing a specific business there's a problem that you're solving with the business that you've engaged yourself in you've looked for in the knowledge you've bought information you've read books you've gotten the right information on how you're going to implement whatever you're about to implement the last step is table your plan before god most people forget that it's one thing to start a business it's another thing for your business to be established and it is only god who establish businesses an established business can stand all the storms get that it's one thing to start a business and to it's another thing for your business to be established an established business will stand all the storms not corona corona will it's actually going to do better not the farming not the drought not the economic whatever everything it is going to stand that and it is only god and no one should ever lie to you it is only god who does that make sure you start with god table it before god go to god god is a god of order you have your order in plan this is what you want to do it is your plan right it is you have an order of how you're going to even implement it you've looked for the knowledge that you need god doesn't work with fools always know that and read the book of uh proverbs and or you can go to google and search what does the bible say about foolishness doing something foolishly anything that you'll ever do foolishly is bound to perish never forget that may it be parenting may it be business may it anything may it be marriage anything that you'll ever do foolishly is bound to perish now that you've even looked for information the knowledge that you that you need you're missing out on the wisdom that comes from god go to god fast if you have to fast pray if you have to pray but tell god this is what i'm doing this is what i'm about to start if you don't walk with me might not go so far if you're not with me in this specific plan i'm not going to go so far i want you to give me the wisdom that comes from you to be able to run this specific thing there's a type of wisdom that it is only you that you're going to have to run your business that is why you might see someone doing a business go open up another business the same business next door but you're not going to perform like them. There is something that God puts between your ears, your, your brains. Something so unique that you cannot even be able to explain to anyone. Something that will teach you on how to maneuver in, in, in times of thickness. How this, this is just something that God is going to give you. A very unique wisdom to run your business. And he says, he is the giver. Yes. In the book of Deuteronomy, 8 verse 18 we say that we always use the word of god strategically right as a manual to teach us on how we are supposed to do things as i told you it is only god who can establish a business it is only god who can give you the wisdom that you need to make the money that you need let's read the word of god and it says but remember the lord your god for it is he who gives you 
the ability to produce wealth. That is in the book of Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. It is only God who can give you the ability to produce wealth. If you don't, if, if you don't adhere to that, you're going to work so hard trying to produce it. You're going to, you're going to engage yourself in so many things unnecessary powers trying to multiply that money you'll take your money to so many altars in your churches in the hope that you're going to multiply the little that you have forgetting that the word of god says it is only him who gives you the ability to produce wealth as you read the word of god you will see how you're supposed to protect your money the money that you get from your businesses so that it can benefit you if it is helping the needy help them if it is if it is getting your 10 percent give it out it is really going to protect the 90 percent and always know even if you make how many millions 10 million 10 percent is not yours always know that so that it can be able to protect the other 90 percent you're going to get so much information on how you're supposed to run your business and it will just flow your stars will just align. You're not going to struggle as a business person. If you base your business under these guidelines that I've given you, things will just be flowing without your struggle. You're not going to start a business that is going to kill you because of stress. We have people that start businesses and they almost die out of stress, mental illness. There are people that start businesses and that is the end of their marriages. There are people that start their businesses and that is the end of their relationships with their children. This goes to both men and women. There are people that start businesses that will kill them. You can start a business today and that idea of starting a business today is the one that will kill you in the next three years. Because probably you didn't even know how to manage your finances. Probably you became a drunkard and you just got an accident out there or you, you got yourself into weird shitty things and you got yourself a chronic illness. Just know, and whatever I'm saying, there are things that have been experienced by millions. People experiencing the same problems right now as we speak. So you that have taught how to do business, please get these ideas in place and don't forget the Lord your God because he's the only one who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Now, once you come up with your whole idea, table it before God. Pray about it. It doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter how dirty you feel. You know, sometimes we end up feeling as if, oh, I cannot pray for myself. And even if I pray for myself, I don't think God is going to listen to me. He is going to listen to you. All of us, we are the righteous of God. We have all fallen short of his glory. It doesn't matter the situation in life that you're in. Start proclaiming and saying to yourself i am the righteous of god i am the righteous of god even when you're going into your prayers despite the things that you've done pray and say i am the righteous of god by the time you're going deep into your prayers and meditation you're going to be able to freely connect and con communicate to your creator stop using people to pray for you stop doing things and planting things in altars that you don't know the powers and the prosperities that reign those altars okay be very cautious do that and you'll succeed in the in your business that you're about to start god bless you use the link on the description box to join the seven days in post class if you want to learn if not so if you want suppliers from china more than 300 suppliers i have a group for that you can also join using the link on the description box leave a comment down below let me know how you feel about this video let me know what you'd want me to speak about it and and please just turn on the notification bell so that you can be able to get any video anytime you get a notification anytime i upload a video share my video to your relatives to your friends to your people in charge to everyone in your the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.